welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for the day is in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 14. Do everything in love. We are commanded today, friends, to do everything in love. When we say everything, that's everything. Let's do it in love. Amen. It's for our good when we do things in love. Because when we do it in love, then it's not a burden. But if we do it out of obligation, well, it's burdensome. And that's the reason a lot of people, friends, when they serve, they serve murmuring and complaining because they do it as an obligation. But if we do it in love, friends, if it's motivated by love, well, we give our best. We serve the Lord faithfully, wholeheartedly, and nothing can stop us, friends, if it's done by love. Well, if I'm in love, friends, nothing can stop me. I go to where that uh, love of mine is. Nothing will stop me. I will give my best. And so, friends, if we are motivated by love in serving the Lord, nothing should stop us from serving the Lord. Amen. From giving our best. See, even in coming together today, friends, if it's motivated by love, then we give our best. We are excited. Amen. Are you not excited to see the one that you love? Are you not excited, friends, when you are serving the one that you love? Whether the, the one that you love appreciate what you're doing or not, friends, you still give your best because you know that you are doing out of love. But if you're doing it out of an obligation, then it is burdensome. Remember the word itself, obligation. Obligation is a burden. So if we are serving out of obligation, it's heavy. It's burdensome. And there is no joy. Well, friends, everything we are told that if we do everything in love, then life will be enjoyable. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the things that we do, we love to do. Because we do it in love. And therefore, there is always joy. You always are willing and excited to do things. Again, there are so many other motivations, friends, in doing things. Uh, some there are bad motivations, there are good motivations. Uh, some are motivated by anger, or like uh, some are motivated by greed. See, they do things out of their covetousness. Well, friends, those are bad motivations. But uh, there are other motivations too that you're motivated by your compassion, uh, by your uh, by your kindness. You are motivated by uh, you know your concern for fellow men. Those are good ones, but the best motivation is love. Because in all these virtues, friends, the good virtues that we can have, the number one is love. Amen. The best is love. And therefore, let's do it in love. Amen. So when we come before the Lord today, friends, remember that you are in love with the Lord. And if you are in love, may you give your best in your service. Amen. Be excited. Be willing to listen to him. Incline your ears to him. Just, just like a, a reading a love letter or, your, or listening to someone that you love telling you things. See, you are so intent in just wanting to know what the message is. Right? If you, if you read a love letter, you just want, you meditate on the message. What is the message for you? What is the message being conveyed to you? So do the same, friends, when you listen to the Lord today. Amen. Just be attentive to what He is saying. And because you are doing it out of, out of love, it's not a burden, friends. Uh, you, you can always reflect on those messages. Go back to it again and again and again until you fall in love even more. Amen. So, friends, regardless of what you're doing today, you could be serving your family today. Serve your family out of love. Then your family is not a burden. Because, well, remember that you also love your, your family. Serving your husband, your children. Serving your, in, in, your, in, your, in your job. Friends, do it out of love. And these things, friends, will be very rewarding. And it's not burdensome. <laughs> Amen. Well, I pity those, go, that, those that go to work that hate their jobs. And because they hate the jobs, friends, it's burden. It's a burden. 
and they complain, they murmur, and they come home, friends, again, loaded with all kinds of burden. But if they love the job, because they know that it's the Lord that had given them the job, well, friends, very rewarding, exciting. You just have the energy to go to work every day. <laughs> Amen. Try it, friends. If you don't believe me, try it. Love your job because you know that it's the Lord that gave you your job. Love your family because you know that your family is from the Lord. Everything that you have, friends, love it because you know that it's God-given gifts to you. And you do it, serve it out of love. Well, you could see the wonders. You could see the miracles that will happen. Amen. So, friends, today, do everything in love. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.